Hey guys, it's me. Happy Saturday. I took yesterday off. You know, I did my Friday video on Thursday and I was thinking I might do a video yesterday, but I thought, you know, I'm going to take the day off and do some of those things that I haven't had time to do. And then John came home a little bit early. So typically what brings me home is having to do my videos and having to come home and let Bridget out and just stuff like that. So he was home. So we ended up getting a manicure, a pedicure, and there is a new Aveda hair salon that's like literally probably half a mile up the road from here. And I had been so curious about it. So I had a blowout. And um, so that's what this, she did a good job. She smoothed it out good. And I ended up buying some of that. I'll put the name of whatever I bought down below. It's something for straightening and glossing that is like their best seller and so that's one of the things she used in my hair so that is what I did yesterday so I missed you guys but in the meantime I wore something yesterday that I loved so I wanted to go ahead and share these with you and I've got the nude one on today I've got a strapless bra on with this and after I do this video I will take it off because when you live in a place like I do that cold is like it's pretty cold out well it's 60 no 55 out right now the high is 57 so that is like really pretty cold for us but when I go out today I'm going to maybe go to Ulta because I've got a 20% off everything and then I'm going to the resale shop that I take stuff to and take a few things there and then I might just, you know, I don't know what else I'll do. But I will not be taking off my coat. So it doesn't matter. And then another thing is, if I were to put on a lot of clothes, then there's no way I could wear my new faux fur that I'm going to show you in a minute. So what I have realized is it's best to just put on something light underneath and then put on the coat that you want to wear. You know, I've always done that. Like every year, it seems like I have a different, I think last year I wore the long sleeve tight t-shirts every day, the real sheer ones. And then the year before that, or sometimes last year, I wore those camisoles that have the spaghetti straps. And so this year I've been wearing a lot of bodysuits. And I ordered these from Karen Millen. I don't know how in the world I ended up on this website. The only thing I can think of is Lydia Millen, I think, has a line with Karen. Maybe one of those UK bloggers I saw with these or something. I don't know. I don't know if I actually saw these or I saw something else, but they were on sale. And I ordered them over the like Black Friday. And they're different, but I love them. So this is the one that I wore yesterday, and I want to see if you can see. Can you see that it's sheer? It's sheer, but it's still, I think they're called mesh, um, sheer mesh. They're very, very stretchy. I feel like, I wish I had more light. We're not in front of a window. Well, I'm in front of a window, but we don't have one behind me like I used to, so you can't see the light going through it. I had a picture I took in it just to see if, how see-through it was. I'll put it in here. You can't see anything too much. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a real um, shy person, but I, you wouldn't want to go out just everywhere. But it's a, I mean, it's a base layer. It's not a bodysuit that's meant to be, you know, like the Zara ones can be worn out. But they're just so pretty, and they do kind of suck you in, and I just think they're so flattering. So the one I have on now is the nude and I put the strapless bra that I just got. It is the, oh my gosh, what is the name? Lively strapless bra in and honestly, if you don't have the bra on, your boobs just don't look, they're not as much out there, but this kind of, you know, brings them up. But it also, I don't like that band right there, but you know, for this video, I didn't want to freak anybody out. Well, I didn't want it to be, I didn't want it to get taken off. <laughs> this is the black one. This is the nude one. And then I also ordered both of those in the typical, you know, high neck that I like. I haven't worn these yet. 
so I don't know if I'll like these as much because I think one thing I like about this is I think it just has such a pretty neckline. It's just so feminine. It's kind of like a bathing suit or something like that, and I just think it looks really pretty under stuff, but I will probably like these too. And they are, are they thongs? They're not thongs. They're kind of like, they're kind of like in between a thong and a full bottom. And they actually have three snaps in between. And something I was going to tell you too is I always wear underwear under my bodysuits. And that day, if I just don't feel like, you know, the whole thong issue all day, I will wear a full bottom pair of panties with even a thong bodysuit. And that kind of helps them not be so uncomfortable all day. So the size I got is the UK 10 US 6 and it fits perfectly and I really like them. I think they're different and I think they're really pretty and even if you got them just to wear underneath um, dresses or something like that, I just think they're pretty special. At first I thought, oh, I'm not going to like this because when I was putting it on, it has stretch but not a whole lot of stretch. So I thought it was going to kind of look sausagey, but it actually looks really pretty and it felt good all day. I didn't feel like I needed to wear a bra underneath it because it did hold me. And um, so I wanted to share those with you. And then I did get the faux fur that I was telling you about. And here, let me go ahead and take off the tag. The actual um, name is Unreal Fur. And I looked that up. I ordered mine from Anthropology, I think, on sale. I had, I had it on my radar for a long time, and then it went on sale. And um, But you can get this line. I think I'll link some places down below. It's from Australia. Yeah, Anthropology. And let's see. The price on it is $3.99, but I think I paid two-something for it. You can get their website. has some really cool ones. I have just learned I love the long ones, but they're not as practical for me because it's just not that cold here, and I am in the car a lot. When I go out, I like being in my car. I like eating in my car, just riding around, and so they're not as comfortable, so I like the, the short ones better. I mean, I'm not saying I won't ever get a long one, but I try not to. I really love it. It looks very, very similar to some of the other ones that I have. But like I said, it's hard to find really good ones like this. And they, you know, it's not real fur, so it's not going to last forever. So I, in case some of those get nappy or something like that, I was glad to find this one. And I got the medium because I think part of the look of these is them being a little bit big. I think they should kind of hang on you a little bit. And I actually like the look of hair kind of tucked in like this. Let me sit down. Um, I just I couldn't decide what. I really wanted to wear a dress. I've got a new dress that I want to wear for you guys. I don't even want to show it to you until I wear it. It is that pretty. It's like a really cool like little slip dress. And I was, when I bought it, I was thinking, well, maybe we'll go to some Christmas party. But I don't think we are. But I'm going to wear it just for you soon even if I just take it right back off because it's so pretty. And it's kind of, um, I got it when right after I watched American Hustle. So it's a little bit of that 70s, 80s uh, Studio 54 vibe, very Studio 54. So I would wear something like this over that and then some, some cool shoes. But today I'm just going to go to those few places. So I decided just to put on my um, A Gold E the pinch waist jeans. I don't have any shoes on. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna just wear these. I thought these might look cute with this. I haven't worn these a lot. These are my Gucci. I'll bring them up and show them to you closer, but I thought just for scooting around, this would probably be a good pair of shoes for today. It's just too cold to wear I'm just not in the pump mood, you know what I mean? So this, these are the Gucci's. I think they're really pretty. Ooh, my nails are, what color did I do? I did OPI Black Onyx on my nails. 
And then for my toes, I thought I was going to be so adventurous. I picked out a light, like robin's egg blue. Then I picked out a little light, almost white pink. And then I picked out another, like, just blushy color. And he put one stripe of that robin's egg blue on my toes. And I was like, no, no, can I change my mind? And I ended up getting Lincoln Park After Dark. I had been wearing the red, but so that's what I got on my toes. And then another thing I just wanted to mention is the other day when I did my video and I talked about my eyelids or my blepharoplasty, thank you. I got a wonderful response. I don't think I got any mean comments. It was just so nice and I really, really appreciate it. It really made me feel like I had come so far to even talk about it because I was kind of scared to and I feel like we've come so far and maybe maybe YouTube has come so far maybe you know it's not as bad as it used to be you know I know I have two videos on my rhinoplasty my nose and so I this morning went ahead and put those public again and I am going to do an update of that, you know, just kind of like, I think it's been almost two years. I think March will be two years since I've had this done. And what's weird is I feel like, oh my God, I can't believe it's been five years since I had my eyelids done. But then my nose, I feel like it's been three or four years. I feel like it's been longer than two years, but it, it was in March of... 2018 and then there was that I watched it and I was like oh my god it was embarrassing that rant video that I did because the first day I came back after I'd had it done I didn't say anything in the video I knew everyone was going to notice but I just I don't know I felt like if I didn't bring it up no one else would bring it up, at least not in a bad way. And I ended up getting just slayed. I remember just slayed in that video. And if anybody's had your nose done before, even though I had a very minor one, which I'll tell you about that later, the swelling is a lot and it takes a long time to get your finished product. And so I knew it wasn't going to look good for a while. But after that video, I remember just being so hurt, like, to my core. Like, so, I mean, just hurt so deep. And then, for some crazy reason, I got my hair dyed dark right in the midst of it. So, that had freaked me out. And um, so, I watched that nose job rant video. And it was just, I really, for anyone, I'm not going to post that again. But for anyone who saw that, I am so sorry. That just wasn't me and I regret posting that but I will link the other two videos on my blepharoplasty I will link those down below I know I didn't link them on that last video and I should have I put on there that you could search them but I will link all of them down below so you can watch them and then we will do an update soon on my rhinoplasty and then I will do an update this is easy. This is easy. Now, an update on my Mastopexy, which is a breast lift and reduction. That one I'm going to have to think about and write down some notes because that is much, much more complicated. A much more complicated surgery and much more complicated issues. So, I will be doing those soon. And I really hope that you will... The reason I took them down is because... I had people saying that I was unrelatable and you know in that moment I thought well that must be what's making me unrelatable but you know it's been a while and you know those just aren't that rare people ask me about it all the time people ask me where those videos went those are not uncommon surgeries and I am a full-grown woman and I don't feel bad about them whatsoever. I've been very pleased. So I thought, you know, I'm going to post them back because if I can help someone that is much more valuable to me than someone who 
holds that against me. You know what I mean? I would rather have them out there to help someone as a reference because I know when I was getting those things done, I watched every single video. So, oh, and here's our girl. Here's our girl, Sinene. She's so funny how affectionate she is, but yet she doesn't want you to pick her up. Like sometimes I pick her up and she, even though she's fighting to get down, like she's tense, she's still purring. But like Sassy, she's over here in my chair. If you pick her up, oh my gosh, she just melts in your arms. I mean, just like, I mean, she even puts her little paw around you and it just, you know, loves it. But they're all different, but they're all good kitties. My jewelry today is some new from Jenny Bird. Yesterday, I wore another set of earrings that go with this collection, but they're a little bit shorter. I'll try to put a picture in here, but today with this fur, I thought I would wear the longer ones. And then this little necklace and then this little chain. I just think they're so pretty. And they, even though they're dainty, a lot of times when I take like a selfie or something in the car, you can't see, my, I have to really make it where you can see my jewelry. This really showed up well, even though I had on a high collar, which I hope that if you even think you like that black Levi's corduroy and fur trucker jacket that you get it. It is, oh my gosh, it is so soft, so yummy, so easy like to drive in. It's not bulky. It's so pretty. Everywhere I went, people complimented me on it and I just loved it. When it comes to fur, faux fur jackets of any sort, it's all about the collar. You want a good collar because that's what's going to give you the look of that, you know? And that one just has a fabulous collar. It's just fabulous. And I know a lot of you liked my denim jacket with the fur collar. And then when they sold out of that, they did not bring it back. So I'm scared that's going to happen with the black. And I'd rather see you get it, not like it, and send it back than feel like you missed out on it. Because I don't think it's crazy expensive. It's so pretty. And I ended up, you know, pulling, turning up the sleeves so the fur is on the sleeve too. Oh my God, so pretty. Okay, and then the ring you've seen, the earrings, the necklace. And then this is my fragrance. It is a perfect daytime winter fun feminine fragrance the other day i had it on and i went to my mom's and my niece was cracking our family has a bunch of um on their property my uncle has uh pecan trees and so my mom had picked up pecans and she has like a old school nutcracker so my niece was cracking um nuts and i reached across her to i think get one and do something and she said oh something on you smells good <laughs> so I said oh you like my perfume thank you so even she noticed it I love it thank you guys for being here I look forward to talking to you every time please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it means a lot it means that you like my videos and you like what I'm doing and please hit the like button because that helps me too and I will see you real soon thank you bye bye